This is the Maker Fogger 2, which I bought four and a half years ago. And this is the Maker Fogger 5 Pro, which has just been sent out to me. Has it improved much? So the Maker Fogger 5, straight off the bat, I'm gonna say I kind of recommend this product. I'm gonna explain why in this video, so stick around and hear my thoughts on this product and other products which I would recommend over this product, which is a big shame because I want to give a big shout out to the guys over at Microfogger who produced the Microfogger original and then the Microfogger 2 and then they've worked up to the Microfogger 5 back in the day when I was looking for a small handheld smoke machine for the miniature photography, product photography, portrait photography. The cheapest version I could find was about £1,800 until I came across these guys. This was £120 four and a half years ago. It's been an invaluable tool. It's been in my tool bag. I've used it for all sorts. So it was great. And when they contacted me and asked if I would like to have a look at their Pro version, their 5 version, I thought it would be nice to see how far they have actually come four and a half years on. And this is where we are at now, the Microfogger 5 Pro, which is still 3D printed. The quality is still the same. I was expecting better quality from this product i've got to be honest form factor wise they've managed to keep it quite the same size which is great because obviously smaller the better because then you can hide it in different parts different places if you set that you're photographing and um, it comes with some great accessories uh, it has an lcd screen on there it does take a rechargeable battery but that rechargeable battery takes about the same length of time to charge as that so four and a half years on i'm a little bit disappointed that it takes that long to charge up a battery nowadays a little bit disappointing Megafogger 2 had a quarter inch mount this doesn't anywhere on it you actually have to get an adapter which obviously screws in the bottom of the battery bay and it has the mount on there so pretty much an afterthought um does charge via USB-C it does come with this same remote control as the Megafogger 2 so I can use both these in conjunction um I don't like to be negative on this channel. I, I'm not a negative type of person. It, 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 on their website, you can create haze, small amount of haze. You haven't got to puff out loads of smoke. So it has like a variable control on the display. So you can control a fan and you can control how much fluid or how much haze is coming out. Now, if I set that low and press the button, Nothing. You can hear it, but nothing's happening. So if I up the smoke to two bars, you can start hearing it a little bit better. You can see a tiny, tiny bit of smoke. Put up the three bars. It's not really smoke, it's more of a string. Four bars. It starts making that noise. And, oh, nope. Looks like a little vol volcano. I'll turn the fan up to two bars. And that... Ah. That's where my experience ends with this, and this is why I kind of recommend this product. I did contact them regarding the fact that when you set it on a low setting, low fan setting and low fluid setting or hair setting, it starts spitting out oil, hot oil, and it gets, you told me there, it gets everywhere. I mean, everywhere, over products, what you're shooting. And for photography, that is not ideal at all. Now, I thought I had a, a faulty unit, but this was their response to my email. I'll pop that on screen now. So they do recommend you use it on high settings. So that takes away the ability to just create that little bit of haze. Really, if it's just meant to use in high settings, it should just have a high setting on it and not go down. Because, I mean, that, that fluid coming out of there, it's greasy. It gets If it gets on your lenses, if it gets on the product that you're shooting, that's, that's not good. It, it really isn't good. A um, little bit disappointed. Oh, 3D print has just finished. That was the noise in the background, if you did hear that. So you can actually set the uh, the fan power higher 
and keep the smoke set in the two bars and it will fire up and you will see a little bit of haze. It's just that fan sitting on those low settings when it's spurting it out oil. It's not ideal. That's going to cause issues at times. I really wish it didn't do that. I really wish there was a setting on the fan which didn't go below a recommended so it didn't spit out oil. That would be better before the product was shipped. Um, definitely if they recommend not using a low fan setting, it shouldn't be on there in the first place. So if we set that, the smoke to high and we'll fire that one off you can see it does pump out quite a bit of smoke i think we have the magnifier too here i'll switch that on and we'll see which one is that on i think this is on high that's on high and that's on high. Kind of looks like the Metal Fogger 2 is producing a bit more smoke than, than this one. And because it all splutters out, let's get rid of that smoke. I don't know if you can see there. Let's see if we can get that focused on here. I don't know if you can see that. If I can angle it, you might not be able to. There you go. You see all of the fluid on the end of the nozzle, which has been spitting out in low. Um, I've never had anything spit out from my microfogger too, by the way. I don't, I've never had anything. It does, like I said before, it does leak out around the bottom because all the fluid is in here and that seeps out around the collar where it meets. So, but it doesn't spit fluid out like that does at a low setting. So guys at microfogger, if you're watching, change that so that doesn't actually happen to anyone because that, that shouldn't happen. It really shouldn't happen. This when I take it off and I've left it in the cardboard box, that's actually leaked as well. It's got fluid down the bottom. The other disappointing thing as well, see on here, if I can just get that, get my face out of the way. It's got the little rubber seal there, so you fill the pot with the fluid from here. Now that's not attached anywhere. That that will get lost. People will lose those, um, and they're going to be left with an open top, so the fluid just going to pour out. I can see that happening. Um, so. Very disappointing that four and a half years on, that, that's actually happening. Um, you do actually get a lot of accessories. Uh, this is one of my favorite ones and all the other ones come with it. And this is probably my favorite little accessory where it just creates that. It's supposed to be low, well, it's supposed to be a low lying fog, which it does there, you can see it, but it's rising as well. So it creates that low light. I mean, that's great when you're shooting miniatures and product photography and stuff like that. It really is good. Um, yes. Sorry, guys, but four and a half years on, I was expecting way, way better than than what that is, unfortunately. Um, appreciate you sending us out to have a look at it. Um, but I can do everything with this microfogger too that I can with this. I'm afraid all the, the fittings will fit on there, so... Now, one thing this does have that maybe the other ones I haven't seen on the other ones is a little attachment, which when you switch it on, has LEDs on the top, which allows you to actually create um, a little bit of a smoke effect. Kind of gimmicky, I think, but kind of handy for product photography. You can actually change the light color within the mode dial on here and change how it represents how it flashes all that kind of stuff and the delay all that kind of stuff you can change it within the menu so that's kind of different to the other things but again it's a uh, it's a 3d printed top switch that off it's a 3d printed top um which isn't the best quality i'll just show you what i mean by the quality you might not appreciate what i'm saying or i'll see if i can kind of show you guys that there I'll just show you there and then right on the corner can you see that i just think all around it would be a better product if it was a more of a composite more of a nylon composite material harder wearing um yeah i don't like leaving on negative so i'm not going to 
it will do the job you want it to do. It will allow you to create all of those effects um, in camera that we all love to create with our cameras using smoke. But is there better products out there for the same price? Yes, there is um, better quality products anyways. All kind of do the same stuff, but there definitely is better products out there. It's a shame after four and a half years, I was expecting a bit better product because um, I've had a lot of time over four and a half years to develop it really. Um, so yeah, that is my review of the Microfogger 5 Pro. Hope you've enjoyed it, folks. All the links will be down below to the website so you guys can go and check all of those out and choose which one you think is the best for yourself. And with that being said, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you then.